Hello guys, the DB Grinder here, back at it again with another video, and this time we have another 3v3 Iron Man, $150 per team, so the winning team will win $150 and the losing team will lose $150. Also, make sure to go ahead and check out the Coliseum Discord, link down below in the description if you want to go ahead and plan anything like this in the future. And then on Team 1, we have Extra, and on Team 2, we have GG Jibriel XD hopping right in. We're going to go ahead... And we are going to see Jib win the rock, paper, scissors, shoot. And they will decide to go first. 43 versus 40. Opening hands. We have Tracer, White, Tidy, and Gamma, Valor. Okay, so, hey, this is solid. Two hand traps going second. Plus opens up, like, Engine, you know, Tidy. And, uh, like, it still works going second because you, you can Ravine, discard it, go dump Chamber. Then it just acts as, like, a, a free discard. Uh, it, it It's not crazy, but it's not bad. And they have Adara, Heavenly Dragon Circle, Imperm, Emergence, and Ecclesia. So if they were going second, they would have a hand trap going first. Their hand definitely works here. Uh, they're going to go ahead and start this off by activating the Emergence. And then Emergence, go search out Long Young. Set anything on Raz. No, no, uh, no Droll. Discard, and then Chain Gamma. So, you know, very solid trade there. Uh, two for one. But, you know, uh, eventually Otara will add something back. And then Special Summon Ecclesia, Ecclesia effect, Tribute off, and then Summon out from the deck. They're going to Summon out Tai. And, I, like, here, you could go ahead and activate Valor to play around Heavenly Dragon Circle. But if they have Heavenly Dragon Circle, they could still just go, like, Tai effect, Banish Long Young after Valor Resolve. And then Heavenly Dragon Circle Tribute, Go Search Mo Yi, Mo Yi, Reveal the Long Young, because they haven't normal summoned yet. So, they're going to go Tai Yi Effect, and then uh, Banishing for Cost. But it's definitely like a like an interaction that you want to think about, like like playing around the Heavenly Dragon Circle, kind of like how people were like playing around Droplets, like Negate before they even activate. Um, then go ahead, and are going to Chain Heavenly Dragon Circle, Go search, grab water, and then boom, summon out the token. And then activate the Otara, banish, add back Long Young. And then we're going to see water go ahead and activate and summon itself out. And then just get rid of those, go for Grandmaster, then Grandmaster effect to go search. And Grandmaster will go search Mo Yi. And then normal summon Mo Yi effect, reveal Long Young, summon out the token. Then they can just uh, synchro those. Um, they're gonna go ahead and summon out the Draco Berserker, and then Mo Yi draw. Mo Yi will draw into the Adara. So not like a crazy draw there, but also not a horrible draw either. And then pass, draw abs. And then they're gonna normal summon, special summon. And then it's a think here. They're going to get rid of those to go for Romulus. Decides to not go into like a Striker Dragon first or anything. And then activate the effects. I'll go ahead. And they're going to search out Tracer. And then go search Ravine. And then activate Ravine. Then activate Ravine effect. Discard Tiding to go dump. And then now we'll go to Dump Chamber. So right here, they either assume this is like Imperm, Droplet, Blackout. Probably one of those. I don't think I'm really missing anything. Like, there, there could be like Heavenly Dragon Circle set. But, you know, if that's set, that is fine. At least it's not an interruption. And then, they're going to go ahead and use Tiding. Banish to summon out Chamber. And then Chamber Effect. Then chain Draco Berserker there, go ahead, get rid of that. And then search. So they know these two cards. Uh, so they really put them on like, ha well not even have like, A extender. Like this one even, it had to be like Chaos Space, right? And then like Chaos Space also draw good. Cause now they're gonna get Unicorn and White Effect. So this will go ahead and then they're going to chain Grandmaster to negate that. Go search out black. And then they're going to special summon out black by banishing white. Turn down the striker dragon. Striker dragon effect to go try to search boot. But then that's going to get hit with the imperm. So they know the last card in hand is tracer. I mean turn those into access code. Gang attack. Uh, this does out the board here. But they just lose next turn anyways. 
So they're going to go poke and then pass. Draws into a chalice. And then special summon out Long Young, but discarding the Adara. Summon out a token. They also have Heavenly Dragon Circle and Adara in Graveyard here that they can use. Um, Adara, add back Tai. I mean, like, a super simple line. It's just like, um, go ahead, Heavenly Dragon Circle Surge, turn those in the floor, burn, pop, uh, Normal Summon, Banish, Grandmaster, go search, Reborn, activate Reborn on Mo Yi, go for game. Uh, go for Fleur, and then burn for 12. And then Normal Summon out, Tai Yi, Tai Yi, Banish, Token. There's like it's just so many different ways to win here that doesn't really matter, especially when they know like everything that they have can't really mess this up. Go Summon Grandmaster, Grandmaster, Tai Yi, go Dump, Search. So dump with Shooter, go grab Summit, and then activate Summit, summon back out the Draco Berserker, Floor Effect Pop, and then just go for games. So now moving on into the next game, we're going to go ahead and we are going to see Dragons decide to go first. Opening hands, we have Valor, Token Collector, Nib, Black Dragon, Quick Launch. Um, interesting hand. And then they have Ashuna, Chalice, Droll, Imper, Moe. So their hand's pretty solid. I mean, three going second cards plus engine. I mean, that, that's kind of like what this hand is. Uh, they're going to go ahead and activate quick launch. And then quick launch, summon out the tracer. Get rid of that. Go for striker dragon, striker dragon effect. They let this resolve, so go search boot. And then on the resolution of that, they're going to activate the draw and lock bird. Striker dragon effect, pop to add back tracer. Then... They're just going to pass here, which I guess is fair. Um, I mean, quick launch was just a plus one. All you had to do is just like go through your striker dragon. And then your opponent also dropped droll. So like, it's kind of like a plus two here. And then at the same time, like you have enough to live. Like you have Valor Nib token collector. There's no way you lose through that. Draw Ashina. And then that will summon itself out. Get rid of that, go for Monk. And then normal summon out Moe, Moe effect, reveal Ashina. In response, chain Valor. So doesn't let this go through and then drop token collector. I guess because I would get hurt by like a Chalice droplet. Also at the same time, you want Valor to be in the graveyard. So that way you can summon out Black Dragon next turn. And then uh, they're just going to go Battle Phase. Attack for 27. And then main phase 2. Ashina. Banish. Summon out from the deck. And that's going to bring out the Adara. And then get rid of those two to go for a Shaman. Shaman effect. Discard the special summon back out the Ashina. Ashura. That would be a cool name too. Ashura, Ashuna. Ashura. Kind of the same. But summon that out. Um, you know, Setting up a synchro play here. But then... They're going to activate Nib, so get rid of all those, pass over the token. And then they're going to banish the Adara to add back Ashina. Also decides to not drop Token Collector on that to give them the extra body. Maybe they plan on using this as like the, the discard. Also, uh, these are both unknown, but the card in hand is known, so that's pretty good for Dragon here. Uh, special Summon out Black by banishing Valor. And then activate Nocto on that summon. Get rid of those. So, I mean, yeah, Dragons just win here. Um, they're going to get the effects. Go search out White. Go search out Ravine. Draw one. So so many cards off of this. Draws into Abs, too. Special summon out White by Banishing Striker Dragon. Turn those into a Unicorn. Unicorn effect. Discard Token Collector. Spin back the Chalice. And then they're going to turn those into an Access Code. And then activate the access code effect, gain 3,000 attack, impermanent on the resolution. And then they're just now going to go ahead. Yeah, they calculated the uh, the stats of the token. And then activate boot, boot summon out tracer. And then ab summon. And then activate the tracer effect to pop and summon. They admit the feats. So now moving on into game three. We are going to see Sword Soul go first. Opening hands, we got Lancia, Chaos Space, Red MD, Imperm, Chaos Space. 
Wonder if they drop this during the draw phase or not to play around Desires. And then they have Vashuda, Ashuna, Emergence, Heavenly Dragon, Circle, Vashuda. So their hand's not bad. Uh, goes ahead and drops that there. Uh, so they do play around Desires. Also, this makes it sad why you can't get hit with Protoss, which is like the biggest problem playing against this deck because Protoss actually just says you can't play next turn. Unless if you open up a really like weirdly good hand against it and then even then it's still just like seal it's still just like seal tidying pass and that's like an insane hand versus protos and like they're still gonna have other stuff alongside of protos uh so discard summon summon turn those into fluor burn for 12 and then activate the emergence emergence go search out mo yi and then normal summon mo yi mo yi effect reveal of a shoot up do they imperm here? They could imperm on Mo Yi, Fluid probably negate, and then that baits like Fluor negate. Um, or do they hold imperm for their turn to guarantee Fluor gets negated because they can't do anything past Chaos Space being stopped right now? Okay, so they're gonna let this go. And then just get rid of those, go for Grandmaster, Grandmaster Mo Yi, draw Otara, go search out Blackout. And then set blackout, pass, draw boot. So they have three interruptions here. Imperm will knock them down to two, negate floor. And then chaos space, get rid of red MD, go search. Uh, go search out the white. And then special summon out white by banishing red MD. Turn that into a pisty. And then white effect, go search out. So this kind of... I don't want to say like guarantees that they have boot in hand. I would say it just kind of like, you definitely want to be thinking about it. You could be like, oh, they didn't go for Striker Dragon because they don't want to just be negated by Grandmaster. And then Banish, Summon. And then Chaos Space, put back, draws Quick Launch. Okay, okay, we take that draw. Go for Romulus, Romulus Black. Um, they said Think here. And they are going to Grandmaster to go ahead and negate Romulus. So go search out white. And then activate quick launch. So quick launch go summon. Uh, go ahead, summon out Tracer. So they're ending on something no matter what. And they'll let this go. Okay, so then they're just going to get rid of those. Go for Unicorn. Unicorn effect, discard, targets back row. Uh, so they really just want to get rid of the blackout here because they wanted to. Could also target Grandmaster to get rid of this, and then this like doesn't do anything because they don't have a worm. You know, there's a warrior. I, oh, I wish this was a worm. Oh, I wish this was a worm. Well, I actually don't because that'd be kind of stupid, but make the deck so much better. Uh, boot effect, special summon out from the graveyard, and then tracer effects. So this is uh, this is game here. Summon out Recharger, go for Popega Ruler. You don't even need to hit anything off this because you already have a Light and Dark in Graveyard. So you have Access Code, plus 3,000, which is just enough for game. But let's see, does this hit a Token Collector? It does. It always hits a Token Collector. Always hitting Token Collector off that. Uh, go for Access Code, Effect, Gang Attack, um, Activate the Effect, Banish, Pop, and then they're going to go ahead and summon back out Popega Ruler before using the effect to pop again, just to play around Gamma a little bit better. Uh, like, you may as well at this point. And then GG. So we're going to see Noobman99 is next. Alright. And then we're going to see Extra versus Noobman99. We'll go ahead and see Noobman when the Rock, Paper, Scissors shoot. Decide to go first. 43 versus 40. Probably Sword Soul again. Opening hands, we got White, Abs, Tiding, Recharge Your Gamma. Gamma's a pretty good going second card. Then they have Ash, Vashuda, Ashina, Ecclesia, Imperm. Okay, their hand's pretty good. Ashina, summon itself out. And then just go ahead, get rid of that. Go for Monk. And then Vashuda, summon out. Um, Ashina, Graveyard Effect to Banish and summon out the Adara from the deck. You know, pretty like standard 10 ye plays here. Um... And they are going to go for Baxia, which I guess, the, like, the, this is, like, the definition of, like, Imperm could go crazy versus you. Because just Imperm on the starter is wild. And then they're going to Baxia. 
um, to try to go ahead and pop and summon back up from the graveyard, then go for Chowfang. But they're going to chain Gamma. They're going to chain Ash. Okay. Um, so summon. And then get rid of those. Go for Chowfang. Summon. Effect. You know, they can't activate Gamma now because they can't activate Light Monsters. Go for Tai. Uh, Tai effect. Banish. Um, now I guess it's kind of just like a, a risk reward thing. Like, if you can get to this, then. They're probably just going to end up going Protoss or something, right? And then, like, Protoss is kind of crazy. Um, okay, it goes for Baxia. Taiyi effect of dumps. So they want to get the the Moe draw. So get rid of that. Summon back. And then activate the effect. Reveal token. Yeah, I can agree with this. Because you really just need, like, more follow-up for next turn after you Protoss. And then, like, this is kind of just how you get it. So go ahead and draws into an emergence. Okay, go search blackout. And then there's gonna activate emergence, go search out Protos, and then banish, summon out Protos. Effect called dark. You know, you know what you're playing against, so you may as well just go for the auto win. Draw red ND, you're gonna normal summon set pass here um in the end phase they're gonna black out pop these and then they admit defeat so going on to the next game now we are going to see dragon go first opening hands we got quick launch nib chamber d barrier chaos space yeah that's uh that's really good they have Moe, Vashuda, Imperm, Tai, Vashuda. So they have one like hard going second card. Uh, Vashuda does work as a going second card. And then summon chamber, chamber effect. Go search Tidine. And then they're just going to get rid of that. Go for Striker Dragon, Striker Dragon effect. Try to go search, get hit with Imperm. Chaos Space, get rid of Nib. Go search out the black. And then banish summon out black activate quick launch here quick launch summon so it means they're just gonna go for the uh, Pepega ruler here and then get black Pepega ruler go search out white you know if the opponent had anything they'd like have to stop this otherwise like this just hits token collector every time it didn't oh that's crazy okay they're gonna grab Nocto doesn't matter because the Nocto draws token collector Go for Romulus. Romulus effect to go search. Uh, you know, go grab Ravine. I missed back when, like, I don't know. It, it was like, oh, do we even play Ravine? Like, Lance is just so good. Like, the Dragoonity Lance. Oh, the times. Back when this deck was, like, you know, kind of kind of dumb. Chaos base. Put back Striker Dragon. Draw Recharger. And then they're going to go ahead and turn those into a seal. Um, and then they're going to put Pega Ruler, Banish, Summon Out, drop Nocto here. And then get rid of those for an IP, Nocto draw. <sighs> this is what I'm saying. They just always see token. Noct I, I said Nocto's going to draw token. It's so annoying. It's so annoying because it's every single game. Like, you can't avoid it. Because, like, look. They've gone through 17 cards of their deck. Three token collector are in there. You know, they're, they're, they're eventually going to see the token collector. And then, uh, Bashuda summon itself out. I mean, to be fair, even without token collector. Like, D-Barrier still just says skip a turn. D-Barrier is kind of nice versus Sword Soul. Um, so now they're going to special summon out Ecclesia, um, go end of main phase, so go to battle phase, um, attack seal, seal effect, bounce to shoot us, seal effect, summon out from the deck, and then seal will summon out abs. Also, they have an IP pitcher and they have IP on board. Um, now attack over abs. So this is turning off the tidying plus the IP if this just goes through here, uh, but they're going to bounce. And then main phase two, normal summon Moe, reveal Vashuda, summon out the token. 
And then activate the token collector. They admit the feed, so going in the game three now. We're gonna go ahead and see Sword Soul go first. Opening hands. We got Gamma, Nib, Token Collector, Nocto, Chaos Space. Okay, so this is nice. Um Like the going second cards are really good. And they also you now two of them do work with Chaos Space. The the draw could definitely make the hand a lot better though. Um kind kinda wanna have like a normal summon. Also, cool thing is like if you drop gamma. Then, like, they get banished. You can still, like, Chaos Space put back Gamma if this was to get, like, hit with Ash. Um, so you can have, like, another draw. They have Long Young, Judgment, Blackout, Adara, Taiyi. So they're going to go ahead, summon out the Adara here. And then Long Young, discard Blackout in response, Chain Gamma. So summon out Gamma, summon out Driver. And then normal tie tie effect banish blackout and then summon token they're gonna activate blackout to summon token and then on that summon activate token collector yeah that's uh nom 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 <laughs> uh, go ahead go for monk and then set judgment and uh pass draw tracer chaos space Get rid of Nib, chain judgment on that. So you're putting your opponent on have nothing here with these two cards in hand plus a chaos space draw. And yeah, this is GG's. Uh, fair enough, I guess. Like, go ahead, search boot. Um, go ahead, turn those into Romulus. Effect, go search ravine, draw. Yeah, they admit the fee. Okay, so. We've seen Dragons win two matches in a row now. Are we going to see Dragons sweep again? The last Iron Man we saw Dragons sweep. Okay. Um, is it another Sword Soul? We got Extra versus Evil Sharon 3. Come on, be another Sword Soul. I want to see more Token Collector. Okay, they're going to win the Rock, Paper, Scissors shoot this time. And then they're going to go ahead and decide to go first. 40 versus 40. Gotta love to see it. Probably not Sword Soul. We have Valor, Black Dragon, Rocket Synchron, Abs, and Chaos Space. Definitely works here. They have Rescue Cat, Dasher, Valor, Ash, Fractal. I did not expect to see Tri Brigade Hero here. Also, everyone's like, oh, you shouldn't call this tech Tri Brigade Hero. I don't know. I feel like it just kind of fits because like there's so many different like ways to play Tri Brigade. Like there's the, there's the bird build, there's the hero bird and like regular build. Just a regular build. There's a hero build of this. And then they're just gonna go ahead, chaos space, get rid of Valor, chain ash blossom. Um, then banish, summon out black, get rid of that, go for striker dragon. Activate the effects. Go ahead, search out white, and then search out boot. And then banish black, summon out white, chaos space, banish, put back. Draws into a driver. Ah, the best draw. Uh, turn those into Romulus. Uh, Romulus, white, chain, Valor. So go search out black. And then they're going to activate boot. Boot, summon out the rocket synchron. Special summon out abs. And then just turn those into Propega Ruler. Propega Ruler 1, abs 2. Go search, mill 5. So grabs Tracer. And they still have a normal summon, by the way. Hits Nocto, Levy, Gamma, Valor. Woo! Like, I, like, that wasn't, like, a crazy move, but at the same time, it just doesn't matter. Yeah, they admit the feat. Um, I guess kind of an early admit the feat, just because, like, you know, it's, uh, it's a money match. But I guess they just, like, knew they were going to lose, so, like, why waste time? Go on to the next game. We're going to see them go first. Um, opening hands, you have Saferd, Levy, Quick Launch, Imprim, Quick Launch. Ah, the FTK! They have Nib, Rescue Cat, Judgment, Karaz, Nerval. No, they're not supposed to have the Extender. Come on now. It's supposed to be Standard. Imperm on Tri Brigade. Equal Handshake. Really hate that deck. If you can't tell. Imperm Target. And then they're going to go ahead. Karaz. Discard Nerval. Special Summon. Nerval Effect to go search. And then go search out the Fractal. Then activate Fractal, discard, go dump, kit, kit effect to go dump, and that's going to go dump a Fractal. Kuraz effect, Let's see how many do they banish here. Okay, so just banish two. Uh, still going to be a really solid end board. Go for Bear Bloom, turn all those into Appalooza. 
And then bear bloom effect to go search and put back. I want to say they're going to put back um, Judgment. You did, Revolt Stain for sure. That's no doubt. That's your follow-up. I feel like Nib is just really good to keep. Yeah. Pass, draw Gamma. That's not a, a bad draw. Summon out Safer to let this go. Safer to get rid of itself. Oh, they let that go. I was like, do, do they Appaloosa negate this? If they do, you're in there. And then special summon out Black by Banishing Safer to activate Revolt here. Okay, I, I can respect this. Uh, go ahead, summon out. So there's gonna summon old from graveyard, you know. Keep keep a few banished. Uh, give your omen search options instead of just like having to search out like Nerval. and then summon omen, omen Nerval. So banish, go search, grab kit. And then they're gonna activate quick launch. Uh, quick launch, go summon out tracer. And then activate Quick Launch. Uh, they're letting this go through. And then Chain Tracer to pop Quick Launch. They're going to negate the Tracer effect. So summon out Recharger off of Quick Launch. And then uh, one thing you want to know is that the Tracer can't attack here because of Quick Launch. Also, something that you really want to know about like Quick Launch and Nova is that they both stay destroyed during the end phase. So if you play against like a Mystic Mind deck, a lot of those players just don't have brains. So you can just like activate quick launch or activate nova summon a body they always and i always it is the game plan they flip demise of the land and then you pass and they lose mystic mind and it's like let's go <laughs> we did it and then they're gonna go for striker dragons so now at any point in time they can get hit with nib effect to try to go search boot appaloosa negate battle phase beat over the appaloosa and then main phase two um they're just going to go ahead and turn those into the quad. And then quad effect, discard, target, omen, chain, nib in response. So this will just go ahead, get rid of the board, uh, pass over a token, omen effect to go search. And this is really good here too because uh, this can grab Kuraz to allow them to have like multiple lines of play next turn instead of just like one. And then they're going to banish dark, summon out levy, levy effect. And now they're back down to one, but that's fine because they only need one versus no interruptions. And then they draw tanky. I'll go ahead, normal summon out Kuraz, Kuraz effect, banish, go for silver. Okay, yep, then just access code pop. Um, so going on into the next game. Also, Lancia is really good versus that deck. Um, so now moving on to game three. We are going to see dragons go first. Opening hands, we have Chaos Space, Abs, Nocto, Abs, Gamma. This is nice. They have Fusion Destiny, Kit, Droplet, Droll, Nib. Their hand is also nice, but I feel like Droll is 100% going to get dropped into a Gamma. I feel like it's just, it's way too tempting when they Chaos Space discard Abs. Like, there's no way they don't do it. If they don't do it, they're insane. I would drop it. I would, I would get punished by Gamma. Just being straight up honest, 100% I get punished by Gamma there. So summon that out, summon out Driver, go search out Tracer. It's just so good. Summon out White by Banishing Abs, turn that into Striker Dragon effects, go search out Black, go search out Boot. Um, just want to go ahead and uh, like get that, get those out of deck before they go ahead and like summon the Popega Ruler. And then drop the Popega Ruler, Popega Ruler, Effect the Mill, and then they let that go. Whoo, look at that graveyard though. And then Tiding, Recharger, Nocto. Grabs a Recharger there. Kind of weird mills, but it's not like they're, it's not like they're bad or anything. Go for Romulus, uh, Romulus Effect to go search, and then go grab Ravine. And then special summon out black by banishing white. Drop Nocto here. They're going to drop Nib. They don't. Okay, chaos space effect. They said, hmm. So. Yeah. Let, let me see what happened here exactly. So. They special summoned out black. Special summon out Nocto. Four seconds later declared chaos space. They said, hmm. 
Why would you chain Nib to Chaos Space and not just drop it before? I guess it's like guarantees that they don't put Striker back, but like now they get white. They're gonna get Black Search. So, okay, I guess. Now put back, draw, Black Effect goes search out white. And, you know, pass over the token off a of Nib. Then said token oh okay so this token isn't supposed to be here it's just like glitching so pretend it's not there activate ravine discard white go dump dumps chamber then they're gonna activate tiding banish summon out chamber chamber effect go search out tiding and then activate boot boot to summon out the tracer and recharger and special summon out abs turn those two into a seal and then they already used Ab's Graveyard effect earlier this turn. Effect pops, summon out Rocket Synchron, and turn those into Savage. Savage effect to equip. Put Pega Ruler, bring itself out, so that way they can go for the Hot Red. And then set Tiding Pass. So, ends on Seal, Hot Red, Tiding, Savage through Droll, Nib. Pretty good. Um, to be fair, Gamma was used on Droll, so it's, it's kind of incredible when you get to do that. Droll's Ash. Um, tri brigades aren't do like you. You have to droplet get rid of kit if you want to do tri brigade things this turn. So they're gonna attack seal, seal effect bounce nib, seal effect to go summon out from deck. They let this go, so this will summon out red MD. Then activate droplet in main phase two, getting rid of two chain tiding, targeting the red MD and kit. Um. Uh, a lot of people don't even know this interaction, but like cards like Droplet and Dark Ruler, you just chain with Trap, and then you can go ahead and chain Hot Red to negate. That's how you like play around Dark Ruler Droplet. It's not the most like you can't do it every game, but it's definitely something you want to know. Also, because Kit got bounced here, it can't activate its Graveyard effect. Same thing as like Ben Ten uh, DD Crow, like normal summoned it. I guess they don't have a token here, so they normal summon there. DB has been very glitchy today. I was playing speed duels. I set a man eater bug, and it set it to my opponent's field. And I was like, hold the phone. <laughs> Refresh, and it was back on my field. I was like, okay, okay, that that's okay. I was like, they better not see what I just set because of the glitch. Go for Amirage, a kit effect, and it's like, it's not in the wrong zone. I mean, it's in the right zone. It just looks wrong because there's a token there. Dump Nerval, Nerval effect goes search. Cool, we were never negating these random effects that don't actually do anything. Fractal, we're, we're never negating it. They are putting their opponent, like they're hoping, they're like, please let my opponent be trash and negate one of these. And extra is like, come on now, just, just, just scoop. Fusion Destiny, boom, negate that. And then GG's, GG's. So we really saw just drag and sweep there. Also, I can't, like, this graveyard is just, it looks so good right here. But, yeah, we're going to go ahead and see dragons which, 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 sweep there. And team one is up 150, team two is down 150. Also, make sure to go check out the Coliseum, linked at the top of the description down below. Also, please use my affiliate links and discount codes. And also, I want to talk about this. Everyone, I've, I've had people say this to me over the last, like, eight months that I've been uploading Iron Man's consistently, or I guess like a year now. Um, people have been like, yo, DB Grinder, why don't you put all of the decks on the thumbnail that are in the Iron Man? Well, first of all, I don't know what is in this Iron Man other than Sword Soul, Sword Soul, Tri Brigade, and Dragons. So I wouldn't even be able to tell you what's on this deck, on this side. So you would already know who won, just by how that is. You would know the Dragon player just never lost. And then, even if I got all the decks, the, the thumbnail would look trash. And, like, it's just, it's too much work. It could also, like, depending on how it is, it exposes who wins. It exposes what deck is up next. I, I feel like people were like, you know, ooh, what deck's going to be up next? Blah, blah, blah. Um, but, yeah, we're going to see Dragons win there. And with all that being said, the DB Grinder signing off. Peace. Have a nice day. Stay safe.